of Canadian women have to relive the traumatization of hearing Paul Bernardo's name. They all remember his horrific and monstrous crimes. They learned that this government decided to free this monster from maximum security prison and allow him to go to medium security where he'd be able to interact with other people, have visitors and enjoy other liberties. Now, this minister claimed this was all a big surprise to him. Yeah. However, we learned today that his office knew in early March and was informed again in May. In other words, he did know, and what he said was false. Will he resign? Yeah. Nothing could be further from the truth. As I said earlier, I was informed on May 30th, the day after Paul Bernardo was physically transferred to a medium security institution. And at that time, I took immediate action expressing the concerns of the families of Leslie Mahaffey and Kristen French to the commissioner. There is an internal review process. I have also made it clear to my staff that this should have been briefed immediately. Corrective steps have been taken. I have dealt with it, and we will now always defend the rights of victims. Now he's throwing his staff under the bus. Uh, his, his office admits that they found out on March the 2nd, three months before the minister claimed to be shocked by the news. If his staff had really kept a secret from him of this enormity, he would have fired them a long time ago. But he hasn't because he knows and they know that he knew way back then. So will he do the only honorable thing that is left for him to do and resign? Sure, I invite the leader of the Conservative Party to repeat that allegation outside of the House. I will absolutely reject it. I knew on May... The leader of the Conservative Party of Canada who misleads this House when he... Uh, impugns my knowledge before May 30th. I had made it absolutely clear that that was the day on which I found out. I have taken corrective steps internally with my office, an office for which I am responsible for to this parliament, to the Canadian public, which is why immediately upon knowing that fact that he was transferred to a media security institution, I raised it with the commissioner. I've spoken with the representatives of the families of Leslie Mahaffey and Kristen French, and we will always have stated all of these things outside of the House of Commons. So he... Whatever, whatever threat he's trying to make, he can act, act on. But more important than that, he did not act. His office knew on March the 2nd. He expects us to believe that his staff just forgot to walk down the hall and inform him that perhaps the most notorious killer in Canadian history was being moved out of a maximum security penitentiary to enjoy more luxuries and more freedoms in a medium security penitentiary. Finally, he has the power now to designate mass murderers all to go into maximum security prisons. He could have done that weeks ago. Why hasn't he done it, and why hasn't he resigned? The leader of the Conservative Party of Canada lays out a prescription for political interference, which foreshadows what Canadians would get with a Conservative government. On this side of the House, Mr. Speaker, we recognize the independence of those decisions, and when I became aware of the fact that Bernardo had been transferred to a medium security institution, I raised it with the Commissioner. I raised the concerns in the questions that are posed by the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. Canadians know they will get a prescription for political on interference. On this side of the House, we're doing it the right way. Today, I will be issuing new ministerial instructions to the Correctional Services of Canada to make sure that they put victims' rights at the centre of decisions to transfer, that they inform victims' families before those transfers take place, and we will always stand up for their rights. It is the legitimate power of a public safety minister to issue directives about classes of prisoners. The former public safety minister, Ralph Goodale, did that about prisoners suspected of having contraband. That's right. That is normal. That is a power that the minister has today. He could classify all mass murderers as requiring maximum security detention. That is a decision he could make now. It is a decision he could have made on March the 2nd when his office became aware that this monster was being transferred out of maximum security prison. Why, given that he has not done that and because he has misled this House, will the Prime Minister fire him? Yeah. Perhaps the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada did not hear my last answer. We will be issuing new directions to the Correctional Service of Canada to ensure that they put victims' rights at the 
the center of these decisions, to be sure that they inform victims' families before these transfers take place, and to be sure that I am directly notified on a go forward. What did they get with Conservatives, Mr. Speaker, the last time they were in government? Cuts to the Correctional Services of Canada in the amount of $300 million in their last year of government. That's the difference between what Canadians get with Conservatives and what they will get with our government.